All right, I've gone ahead and pulled the engine because I need to start doing a little bit more fabrication on the frame and it just it needed to be out of the way plus for some of this stuff I need everything stripped off the frame so I figured now is as good a time as any so we're about to get started on the footrest mounts um, which the first step is going to be cutting these passenger peg mounts off and uh, let me show you on the old frame how I had set this up if you remember back in the first video I talked about how I did quite a bit of work on the the first frame and then found out it was bent so we had to scrap that but one of the things I had done and I'm going to replicate to a certain degree is so I'd cut off the uh, original passenger peg mounts and behind this plate is a plate and you can see it on the other side um, that's welded to the frame it's got two holes with bolts through a uh, quarter inch steel plate and then these are quarter inch steel plate as well and this is where I had the rear sets mounted now the, the nice thing about this is we've got a lot of flexibility rather than just welding this plate to the frame and being stuck with wherever we drilled the holes um, I can change the position of the rear sets quite a bit just by swapping out these plates or even by drilling a couple different holes um, and that way we can kind of change things around we're not really married to any one position so and I may actually start by using these plates the position wasn't too bad here um, but instead of just a big uh, single plate here I've gone ahead and ordered some tabs from uh, lowbrow customs and these are quarter inch thick there's four of them here so this should look a little bit cleaner than just the, the single big plate on each side. So, like I said, I'm going to strip this down a little bit further, get cutting. Um, I'm going to try to grind this weld off as much as I can to, to make everything look cleaner. And then we'll figure out the position of those tabs and get those tacked on. Alright, so I've got these cut off here and I've started kind of grinding back the, the edges and the welds. Um, so you can see here what I'm talking about. I, I cut it as close as I felt comfortable. Uh, I didn't want to make a bunch of gouges if I cut through and into the actual frame tubes here. So I've got a little bit that I need to grind back on both sides. But I'm just using a flap disc to grind this back and it's, it's going pretty quick. So not that big a deal. Uh, the trickiest part is to kind of do it evenly so that when I put a coat of paint on here you're not seeing all kinds of little divots and stuff so I'll probably go back with a hand file um, try to get some of these high spots and then uh, on the last one I use guide coat so I'd spray it on and use a file and kind of dress it like that so probably do the same process just to get things cleaned up and looking as I guess semi-professional as possible
So I started mocking up these rear set mounts in uh, wood, but it turned out to be too fragile. So I ended up using this quarter inch thick uh, PVC. So the PVC, if I make a mistake, like I wound up doing, I had some measurements wrong. Uh, it's really easy to just start over, cut it out on the miter saw. Uh, it drills really easy on the drill press and it's quite a bit cheaper than the uh, quarter inch steel plate that I'll ultimately use for the final mounts. So here you can see the, the Tarazi, I think I'm pronouncing that right, uh, rear sets mounted um, with this PVC plate here. And this is roughly the final size. I had the seat and tank installed and it, um, so I was able to sit on the bike and it's pretty comfortable. Uh, like I said before, by using these removable plates, we've got quite a bit of adjustment available. And basically just by swapping out the plates, we can move the rear set position quite a bit. Now in the next video, the other major hang up we had was getting the rear brake linkage. So this is one of those areas where there's no one kind of perfect solution. It's gonna be a compromise no matter what. Uh, my main goal is to make it as functional and sturdy as possible without spending a fortune on it.